So maybe you have used Ozil Omega Scope for something like kick and bass phase alignment, but then you noticed that your notes don't start on time. And if you don't have it set up right, you won't make right decisions. So I will show you in this video how you get it perfectly on time. I put a mega scope on the kick and the bass channel. And on the kick channel there is no plugins and on the bass channel I put two plugins which introduce latency into our chain. And this will cause that our wave is not displayed where it actually is in the mega scope. We have a kick here which is exactly starting at the quarter note and we have a bass here which is also exactly starting at the second 16th note here. And once we open the mega scope we see this. So first of all I would really recommend you if you do want to phase align kick and bass to set the right time base. So we want only to see one quarter note because that makes it easier to display everything. We'll put this to precise and we would put this to overlaid and then we just give them different colors. That makes it way more easier to see actually what we want to do. And also setting this grid markers to a really contrasty color also helps you. So we notice once we have set this all right up that this here is actually supposed to start over here. So if we have it like this it's impossible to make any decisions. What we will need to do is we will need to find out the latency. And there is an easy way which I want to show you first and it's not the most correct one. You can just take the beginning point here with right click on the mouse you drag a square and then you can see how many samples it's late. For example, minus 5433. You type in that number here in that top box here. And once you hit again play, it should shift your bass here. And why this is actually not the best idea is, let's assume your base is like this. So it has actually a point which is starting late. Then you would just move it right on the mega scope, but maybe it isn't right in the audio. So that's actually something where you can set yourself a trap. So if you like this video so far, then please hit a thumbs up that shows me that the video is valuable to you and it spreads to more people who have the same problem. A way cleaner way, in my opinion, is is if you take the plugins here and you hover over them, then you will see in the left corner that this plugin causes a latency of 320 samples and this plugin causes a latency of 5120 samples. This causes a latency of zero samples. So what you just need to do is you can group all the plugins you put in before. We could leave that one out because it's zero. And then you hover over the group and then you will see once you hover here over the group not over the plugin that it has a combined latency of minus 5440. We put that in. And we see the correct starting point. So we could maybe still argue that our audio is three samples late and we might could shift it by this three samples. But to be honest, if we really look here into the waveform, it already starts to go up a little bit here. So it's nothing, that's fair enough if you want to align it. Maybe you have a killer idea for a Psytrance track but your kick and bass and groove is just not there yet. Then you can use this kick and bass and groove I created here for you. You can get it at my BeatStars shop, it's a new shop. You will be supporting this channel and your Psytrance production career. So check this out. You can find this one, it's called Samurai 145 BPMs A Sharp. It's a wonderful kick and bass and groove for your next track. So if you download it, you support this channel. Um, so thank you for that. And let's assume for a moment that this wouldn't be audio, but MIDI from a bass synthesizer. So once we have put in this latency here, then we could actually use this measurement here to determine how much we might be late. So for example, we might be late this three samples and then you can use this to put this into Voxango phase align or you could use here, this menu here, put it to samples and put a minus three here. 
But notice, if you do that, it won't be reflected in the megascope. So let's say we have, uh, we are late 200 samples here. Then if you put it in like this, then it might still be hard to do an alignment. So I would either bounce it to audio first and then put any phase alignment processing on it, or I would take something like the Voxengo phase align and do it in chain before we have the megascope so that all the changes in the timing are also reflected in your visual. But anyways, let's say we would put like a minus 200 in here. You could do the same and, and add this delay on top of the latency. So for example, putting like minus 5640 in here, and then you should have a correct uh, visual as well. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. The bell notification is really important if you don't want to miss any new videos. If you want to know more about kick and bass phase alignment, I will link to a video up here, which you can check out next or you can check out my playlist on my channel about kick and bass. There you find a lot of videos about creation of kick, bass and processing.